Kira's not up yet, so I'm going to start making her breakfast. It's time to make a new batch. So I've melted a gummy vitamin in her water, and then I add, this is about a day and a half's worth of food for her. The best way I've been able to think of to describe it is that it's like having a newborn all the time. She really can't entertain herself, and in the morning she gets all her meds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kira was born full term, um, but she was really sick and she weighed less than five pounds. And so we learned really quickly that she had congenital CMV. About one in a thousand babies will have permanent um, lifelong conditions because of the CMV. Um, so Kira was a really severe case of congenital CMV. Her body was too busy in utero fighting that infection for her brain to grow correctly. And so she now has a diagnosis of cerebral palsy, failure to thrive, microcephaly, uh, G-tube dependence, bilateral hearing loss, vision impairment, chronic constipation, um, sleep apnea, lots of things. Oh, morning stretch. Good job. Kira has this cool, um, this is called a sleep form system, and it's like a big bean bag that you can position and then suck the, the air out of it. We use it to keep her legs apart because her hips are real fragile. Here comes Daddy. Hi, Bear. Do you want this one or this one? Kira doesn't talk at all. She doesn't make a whole lot of noises, but she uh, she showed us that she understands quite a bit of what we say. This is her baclofen pump, so she's getting medication delivered all the time into her spine to help relax her muscles. All right, breakfast time. Do you want to sit in your blue bear chair or your wheelchair or... <gasps> Liam's there. Do you want to see Liam? Good. There she is. How's that? Can you hear me now? Good. Oh, you got some teethers down there. Some big girl teeth. Okay. Socks have a little toe in them, like a little geisha. Because you see how they cross right here. Uh, if I put shoes on her like that, then it's just gonna hurt. Gets Botox injections in her toes. Yeah, to loosen them up. This monster is her most recent stander. You're excited. What do you want to play in the stander? This is called a prompt, it's to prompt her to keep her head up. I have done a lot of advocacy work for CMV um, because when I learned about CMV, I thought, oh my gosh, why didn't I know about this? And helped form the Idaho CMV Advocacy Project. In 2017, we passed the first legislation in the state of Idaho regarding CMV. So now the Department of Health and Welfare is allotted $15,000 a year for um, just awareness and education. This year, the Idaho CMV Advocacy Project officially became affiliated with the National CMV Foundation, which is great. They're the, the kind of the leading um, advocacy group in the nation regarding CMV. <laughs> Good job! Good kicking! This is called the UPSI. We really like it because it holds her up in a position where she can get closer to things. Like her little brother could come and give her a hug or they could, they could dance. All right, just getting Kira ready to go. The boys are really good at getting her in the car. We strap her down. 
she likes riding in the car. She's pretty good at that. And then we put this in because if her head comes down and she can't get it back up while I'm driving, I have to pull over. Awesome. <laughs> All right, drawbridge up. It can just be exhausting and, and, and tedious that just the day-to-day -day care for her. And we have a lot of help, but finding help, it can be difficult. Work about a day and a half a week, and that's hard. It's hard for me to feel like I'm keeping up at work um, because there's just so many appointments, so many details to keep track of, um, keeping track of the prescriptions and the doctor's appointments and uh, um, making sure that all of her equipment is functioning and all of her braces are fitting correctly and um, you know doing research on her new conditions and making sure I'm educating her caregivers about uh, the therapies that she needs to be doing and all these different things it's just a lot all the time. We have three children Liam is 13 Ronan here is 11, and Kira is going to be seven in September. Um, somehow we also have quite a zoo. We have three dogs, a guinea pig, and a whole bunch of fish. The boys love Kira fiercely, and it's really fun. Kira, Kira's just what they know. It's nothing strange or unusual to them, and. So it's really fun to see them interact with her and show her off to their friends. And I think it's really, I think they're better people for having their little sister.